Doc. Hello, Rimfire. Doesn't the Navy ever run out of potatoes? This ship sure don't. Evening, Doctor. Ellis, Johnny. Evening, sir. Hot below. Sure is. I'm going to sleep topside tonight myself. It won't for long. We're getting the tail end of a storm in the mid-watch. A man can't plan too much ahead at all, can he? Not much. All right, you guys, come on, break it up. Make room for a working sailor. Just keep working, man, just keep working. Listen, you're lucky you don't get it on your heads. Come and get it, you hungry buzzards! Here's another one! Who's gonna light? Ah, uh, those sharks. Ain't they nasty things? They're just fish. Hey, Corky. What do you think about the captain they sent to take old Pinky's place? I ain't supposed to think. You know something? He ain't left the sea captain since we left Trinidad this morning. What's he doing? Playing AC Doocy by himself or something? I'll tell you what he's doing. He's seasick. That's what he's doing. That's what the Navy's coming to. They got seasick feather merchants taking a place of bringing a nigga like Captain Pinky. Well, man, I just hope this guy knows port from starboard. That's all I hope. You know what I'd do if I was you, Robbins? I'd just put in for the skipper's job if I was you. The skipper. All right. Did you have your laugh? Well, now I'm gonna tell you something. The guy who walks that bridge has got your neck in his hands, and don't you forget it! Thanks, Salvador. You've got us down 200, partner. Sorry, sir. Six spades. I thought I could do it, sir. Well, don't go off half-cocked again. No, sir. Any sign of the weather yet, Doc? Kind of filling up in the east. Oh, jolly, jolly. And I've got the watch. I pass. What do you mean, you pass? Haven't you got anything? Well, why don't you just look at his hand? Well, I have to help him along. I suppose I could try a heart, sir. He supposes he could try a heart, sir. Two clubs. Captain Morrell still hold up, Doc? Far as I know. Three diamonds. They might have sent us a captain who had his sea legs under him. I guess they do the best they can. Well, I still don't see why they didn't move Ware up. He's been exec long enough. My dear Mackerson, the only craft I've ever commanded was a yawl in the Miami art races. And the nearest I ever came to winning that was 29th. <laughs> The Navy may have been desperate enough to put me in uniform, but not foolish enough to let me sail away by myself. Beats me how I ever got this far up the ladder. Money. Oh, I know you're rich, boy. Oh, don't be bitter, Grandpa. Your bid, Maxson. Uh, four spades. I'm not bitter. I just want to go home. When I bought that ranch in Nevada, I never expected to see water again. Uh, Ensign Mary. Sir? Your bid. Careful. Uh, yes, sir. I, I'm thinking about it. Your mouth's open, Ensign. Sir? Are you going to bid? Six diamonds. Six diamonds? I I'm just backing you up, sir. Where well, you are deliberately distracting my partner. Pass and double. All right, Mr. Mary. Dummy. This Morell seems like a cold sort of a fish. Captain Morell oughtn't to be here at all. He's as weak as a kitten. A man who gets his ship torpedoed and spends 25 days on a raft in the North Atlantic Oughtn't have to hit the ball again with only a few weeks in the hospital. I guess there aren't enough commanding officers to go around. Well, at least they gave him an easy ship. <laughs> oh, easy's no word for it. Listen, he'll get more rest on this boat. Ship. Ship, boat. What's the difference? He'll still get more rest here than he would if he were in a feather bed. Now, me, I'd... I'd like something to happen once in a while. If the Navy ever gets a load of this salty crew in battle, they'll send us all back to boot camp. I look so ridiculous with my head shaved. Kid, couldn't you have indicated clubs? Then I could have gone to no Trump. We are going down again and doubled. Sorry, sir. 
All right. Your lead, Magazine. Now hear this. Way before the mast, all eight o'clock reports. Dark and ship. The smoky lamp is out on all weather decks. Slow it down a little. All engines ahead, two thirds. Bridge, radar. I've got a spook. Radar contact, Mr. Ware. What? Radar contact. Good heavens. Bridge, I. Seven or spook, sir. Storm enough to plot? Range 12,000 off the starboard bow. Get on the plot, Magazine. Captain, I. Radar reports a contact off starboard bow, sir. Run a plot on it. Uh, plot's working, sir. And head for the target. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, um, zigzag, sir. What would you say, mister? Me? Well, uh, negative zigzag, sir. Give the plot a chance to steady on. That's right, mister. <laughs> Get that again, radar. You got it. Estimated target's course one four zero. Speed ten knots. Bearing one two four true. Bring it around a one two four. All engines ahead, flank. One two four, sir. All engines ahead, flank, sir. Can't seem to make up his mind, can he? Maybe he wants to see if I'm awake down there. We're sure juicing it up for it. Hey, buddy, what's the word? Radar's got something on the screen. We're going after it. What's up, Clark? Come on, Dave. He says they got a bogey. Yeah, Hurry. Hurry, right, come on, wake up. Uh, Radar's got something. You don't want to miss it, do you? Gangway, please. I was here first. Gangway yourself. Excuse me, sir. Hey, break it up. Let the captain in. What's all the crowd about, sailor? Well, sir, I, uh, I guess we don't get much excitement aboard this ship. I'll keep your seat. What's your name? Andrews, sir. Well, what do you make of it, Andrews? I don't exactly know, Captain. Our speed's kind of rattling the set. Well, take a guess. You're the operator. Well, sir, it's knocking down about 10 knots. It's got some power, but it's too small a spook to be a heavy vessel. I'd say it might be a fishing smack or... Well, it might be the conning tower of a sub, sir. Bridge, Lieutenant Ware. Mr. Ware, we're about to lose radar contact at the rate we're hitting the sea. Reduce speed to speed of target and get on its tail. At this distance, we ought to make visual contact at daybreak. Shall I shake the ship out for a standby? Well, there isn't much shaking out to be done down here, but ready underwater search gear. If this spook is a U-boat, he might pull the plug and we'll have to go after him. Who's the senior radarman, Andrews? That's me, sir. All right, then you'll have to track the target for us. Any turn he makes, any change in speed, no matter how small, don't you miss one move. I'll stick on him. Don't you worry, Captain. All right, I won't. If anybody's going to be caught with his pants down, it oughtn't to be us. Seems like he knows his business to me. Feather merchant, that's all I got to say. Feather merchant. Stern, Herr Kapitän. 8000 Meters. 
Jetzt ist das Schiff vor Falls Echo. Geblastet. Ja, Kapitän. It comes and goes. The sea return makes it difficult to keep the image. Sehr, Kapitän. Sie hat keins. Target's course changing to port. Target's on the left, Captain. 25, 20 degrees. Maintain your present speed, steady as you go. Steady as you go. Steady as you go, sir. May I ask what your procedure is, sir? Well, if this is an enemy ship, he may have our signal on his oscillator, and he's trying to feel us out. Take a couple of turns, see if we change position. If we can hold an unchanging position behind him, he might mistake us for a ghost echo in these heavy seas. The signal does not change, sir, Captain. Starboard 40 degrees. Starboard 40 degrees. Starboard 40 degrees. Starboard 40. Target's turning sharp starboard, sir. Uh, can you estimate the degree, Andrews? Oh. 40. 45 degrees, Captain. All engines stop. All engines stop. All engines stop, sir. You uh, think it might be a U-boat, sir? Wiggling like one. He may take the bait. If he doesn't, he'll crash dive. Excuse me, sir. It holds the same place, sir, Captain. Mm -hmm. Zoom calls one four zero. One four zero. One four zero. Yes. He's on the hook, Captain. He's coming back to course one four zero. All engines ahead two thirds, sir. One four zero. All right, sir. One four zero. All engines ahead two thirds, sir. Well done, Andrews. But the target won't be satisfied with that one check on us. Now look for him to make a turn every now and then, or he may slow down or speed up. Thank you. Sir? Well? Do you want to send a dispatch, sir? Why, are you anxious to take one, sailor? Oh, no, sir. I just thought maybe... We have to keep radio silence tonight, sailor. We might tip our hand to the target. But I'll get one off the fleet operations in the morning, okay? Yes, sir. This is the captain. I guess you're all waiting for some kind of word. We're tracking an unidentified ship. We're going to try to stay on his tail until morning. We will breakfast early and go to battle stations at 0530. Don't be surprised if we tangle with a pig boat a little after dawn. Do your jobs efficiently. We'll chalk one up for the Haynes. That's all. I reckon we'll just drop an egg right down his periscope. That'll be the end of one more nazi, huh? Or oh, he'll just pop a fish right in our guts and that'll be the end of this tin can. Man, a sub ain't no match for us. Oh, they ain't, huh? Then how come they hunt U-boats with three destroyers working together up in the North Atlantic? Yeah, how come? Your bet. Who's watches next? Lieutenant Kunze, Captain. I don't come here. You're right, Captain. Lieutenant Kunz, report forward. You want to be here, Captain? Yeah, Kunz. Yours is the next watch on top side. You have a signal on the FMB. I think it's a false echo. But to check its reaction, you will zigzag twice an hour until daybreak. If it moves in closer, you will awaken me immediately. Yeah, boy, Herr Captain. Schwaffer. Hmm? Come in, Heine. Ah, that Kunz annoys me. Remind him that we do not salute at sea. He's new, Herr Kapitän. He will tire of it. He's new, hmm? like our new Germany. A machine. Herr Kapitän, you think we are wise in risking that image to be a false echo? Wise? Expedient. 
Time is important, Heine, and we would travel too slowly underwater. In 48 hours, we rendezvous with Radar M. We take the captured British code book, and we go home with it. And this is the important thing, not the code book. But because when we have it, we can go home. Auf dein Wohl. Zum Wohle, Kapitän. Tastes like oil and bilge and green mold. Sit down, Heine. Tastes like a U-boat. I've been in the U-boats too long, Heine. There was a time when I went to sea with a fresh heart. But that was many years ago. Huh. Now I can only think of going home. You want more? No more, Herr Kapitän. Mm. You think I take too much? Mm. Just enough to sleep. I cannot rest without it. I think too much. Never think, Heine. Be a good warrior and never think. You pay penalty for thinking. You cannot rest. I taught these sons of men to be good warriors. Country, duty, ask no question. <laughs> one is at the bottom of the sea, and this one is a cinder in a burned airplane. And I'm glad. That's the way for warriors to die, young and with faith. I've lived too long. Your friends, Heine? I've been with you since I was a cadet. That's not what I asked you. I do not know. Sometimes I'm afraid of you. Many times I do not understand you. I, I'm not certain we are friends. We are friends, Heine. Believe that. We are friends. Because we are friends, I tell you something. I'm sick of this war. It's not a good war. You don't remember the first one. I was a fanery in the U-boats. And oh, how proud I was. We went out in those little sardine tins, and if we submerged, we couldn't always be sure we'd come up again. <laughs> oh, it was a good game we played. The captain would look through his periscope and sight the target, and then he did arithmetic in his head and said, torpedo loss. <laughs> and you know something? Sometimes the torpedo wouldn't even leave the tube. And if it did, we were most lucky to hit something. And now... Now I look in the periscope and it gives me the distance and the speed. I pass this information to the attack table. And the machinery turns and the lights flash. And we get the answer. The torpedo runs to its target. And there's no human error in this. They've taken human error out of war, honey. They've taken the human out of war. War was different then. Put iron in the country's backbone. Give them brave memory. And even in defeat, it gave them honor. But there's no honor in this war. Memories will be ugly, even if we win. And if we die, we die without God. Do you know that, honey? I listen to what you say, Herr Kapitän. Oh, that's a bad war. Its reason is twisted. Its purpose is dark. It's not for a simple man.
Lieutenant Crane coming up, sir. Four time. Mr. Crane, what's your best time on reloading depth charges? Uh, that's not so hot, Captain. Some of my boys are pretty green, but I'd say, oh, three minutes or four. Well, you've got to do better than that. I can try, sir. That's not good enough. Might be the difference between stopping the enemy and getting stopped ourselves. Well, if that's the case, sir, we'll be good enough. I'll depend on it. Mr. Ware, I'd like you to stick with the plot in the pilot house for the time being, if you will, please. Aye, aye, sir. Like we've run out of the squall. Yep. Captain, why don't you lay in your cabin for a while? Oh, no, I'm all right, Doctor. You getting the feel of a ship again? Either that or that pig boat out there is strong medicine. I don't see how you can know it's the enemy. Well, call it a sixth sense if you want to. I always seem to know when there's a mine working the other end of that radar beam. Interesting. You know, I've heard hunters say the same thing. They can sense the presence of game. Well, in any case, this is going to be a disappointed ship if it isn't the enemy. Yes, they all seem to be a bloodthirsty crew. Well, the men would like a chance to do what they're here for. Not much other reason for existence, not now, anyway. No, I sometimes wonder if there ever was another reason. I know what you mean. I had a baby clinic up in Ohio. It was pretty important to me. Now it seems like something had happened on another planet and in another century. What was your work, Captain? This, see. You mean you were a sailor? I was third officer on a freighter out of Boston to Liverpool, La Havre, and back again. Some of our crew will be glad to know that. Our saltiest boys were complaining mightily about getting a civilian skipper. Feather merchant, I think they call it. Well, I am a feather merchant. Well, yes, but not exactly. No, exactly. On the freighter, we were men against the sea. Here, we're men against men. Like every other civilian in the war, I had to learn a new way of thinking. Why did you change over to the Navy? Well, the freighter I was on was cut in half by a torpedo. I thought I'd like to be on the shooting end for a change. Captain! Captain, I... Target's increased speed to 13 knots, sir. Bring up a compensating speed, Mr. Ware. Aye, aye, sir. All engines ahead, standard, 203 RPM, sir. Very well. Well, in time, we'll all get back to our own stuff again. The war will get swallowed up and seem like it never happened. Yes, but it won't be the same as it was. They won't have that feeling of permanency that we had before. We've learned a hard truth. How do you mean? That there's no end to misery and destruction. You cut the head off the snake and it grows another one. You cut that one off and you find another. We can't kill it because it's something within ourselves. You can call it the enemy if you want to, but it's part of us. We're all men. I suppose there is some reason to lose hope, but you know, I reject it because I have a family. And I want something better for them than war, and I think it's possible. You any children, Captain? No. Married? I married a girl in England. She was killed. Bombers? No, when the war broke out, I got passage for her on my freighter for home, the one that was torpedoed in half. I was aft when it happened. I watched the other half of the ship just slide away. There wasn't anything I could do about it. I saw her run out on the foredeck, and I heard her call my name, and... Then that half of the ship just turned over and went down. We hadn't been married very long. Bring up the fire room. Tell them we're making smoke. I don't want to see that at dawn. Aye, aye, sir. You've got more reason than the rest of us to want to catch this submarine ahead. It might be the one that... Oh, it might be, but this isn't my private war, Doctor. I'm just doing what I have to do, like that German captain out there. I don't like the job, but maybe he doesn't either. Weather, complete weather control, sir. Thank you.
Now I'm moving into a high pressure area. Going to have a clear day. Set ASW condition one. All hands man your battle stations. Repair parties, manned and ready. Condition able set. Quartermaster first, Kiroga, at the helm, sir. Quartermaster second, Spencer, on enunciator, sir. Engineering spaces, manned and ready. All boilers on the line. Maximum speed available, 24 knots. Lewis sonar, sonar gear, manned and ready. Magazines, manned and ready. Sky one mount, 33, manned and ready. Sky one mount, 32, reporting, manned and ready, sir. 1241, manned and ready. Sky one mount, 31, manned and ready. All guns, manned and ready. Very well. The ship is smart and quick, Mr. Ware. Thank you, sir. We've got a willing bunch of boys. Messenger! When that U-boat pulls the plug, code this dispatch for fleet operation. Aye, aye, sir. I've tracked U-boat 130 miles bearing 140. Now engaging enemy. You give our grid position. All right, let's get after the target. Mr. Murray, ring up flank speed. All engines ahead, flank. Reported ready, sir. We might get close enough to get a shot at him before he pops under. Chip of stone, Herr Schwaffer. Ready? Steady up on 170. Slow to two thirds speed. Slow to two thirds speed, sir? It's not necessary to repeat the order, Quartermaster. Aye, aye, sir. Zigzag, sir? Negative zigzag. Aye, aye, sir. 170 at 10 knots. We're sitting duck, that's what we are. Sending our beam to the enemy, sir? Yes, I'm giving him a free shot at us with a stern tube. You can't reload those tubes very well. We can attack up his tail whenever we want to. Yes, sir. But how do we know when he's firing, sir? I'll give him five minutes to get to emergency depth, another three to come back up to periscope depth, another two minutes to get us in his sights. If he's any kind of a captain, he'll spit the fish out ten minutes from now. Level. Seal. 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 
You were all ready for action, men at their stations. Silent routine. Silent routine. Silent routine. Silent routine. He's crossing our stern to starboard, Herr Kapitän. He does not approach. I do not understand, Herr Kapitän. He doesn't zigzag and he holds course away from us. Give them to me. He's clever or he's a fool. Maybe he's too clever or too foolish. We'll see. Bring the ship up to periscope depth. Periscope depth! American Escort Destroyer. Escort Destroyer. One stack. One stack. Three inch guns fore and aft. Three inch guns fore and aft. Anti aircraft midships. No tubes. Midships. No tubes. Buckley class destroyer escort, turbo electric, maximum speed 25 knots, carries stern racks in K-guns. Capable of dropping 17 patterns, carries latest underwater detection gear. I think we use the stern tubes. Ready stern tubes for underwater attack. Ja, wohl, Herr Kapitän. Ready stern tubes for underwater attack. Target red 90. Red 90. Range 1000. 1000. Torpedo speed 30 knots. Speed red 90, 1000 speed knots. 30. Nine. Firing position 6 degrees. Torpedo deflection 10. Running speed 30. Depth 2 meters. Fire both torpedoes. On. On. Yeah. On. Mm -hmm. On. 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 Yeah. On. Standing by. Port six degrees. Firing position here, Captain. Torpedoes ready? Torpedoes ready. 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 Count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, zero. Torpedoes, los! Torpedoes running. Torpedoes running. Running time. One minute, 40 seconds, Herr Kapitän.
Left full, Reverend. Left full, brother. High speed propellers coming in from port side. High speed propellers, port side. Stop port engine, starboard engine ahead full. Stop port engine, starboard engine ahead full. All ahead standards, stop your swing and steady up. All ahead standards, stop your swing and steady up. The Miami art races were never like this. Hey, Corky. How do you suppose the captain knew when to turn this old top? Because he's a captain, and that's the reason he is and you ain't. All right, let's go get it. Yes, sir. All engines ahead, full ring up 18 knots. Steady as you go. All engines ahead, full ring up 18 knots. Steady as you go. Aye, aye, sir. Down to 100, emergency. Emergency 100. 100. Steer 140. 140. 140. I do not see how we could have missed at that range. We shouldn't have. I think this American captain is no amateur. Well, neither am I. Sonar captain, commence underwater search. Make sure it's piped through under the bridge speaker. Aye, sir. Lowering sonar projector. Surging beam to beam, sir. Who's on sonar, Mr. Ware? Lewis, sir. He's good at the job. That's him. Got him, sir. Keep it open. Target's still on the old course of 140, Captain. We'll turn to course 140 when we come astern of him. Sonar Lash at the Batain. He has made contact. Do you wish to change course? No, not yet. We wait until he thinks he has our depth. We're gonna be on him pretty quickly, sir. Jet charge, 41. Jet setting, sir. Set to 75. But I may want to order that before we fire. Set pattern for 75. Set pattern for 75. Set for 75. Set for 75. Set the pattern for 75. Set for 75. Set for 75. Set. Load. Loaded. Range 500, closing fast. Range 500, closing fast. <laughs> 300 yards, sir. Tyler, set to 75, sir. Stand by to fire. Stand by. Stand by! Stand by the fire! Portrait 3. Portrait 3. Down to 150. 150. 150. It's going deeper. Mr. Ware, reset depth charges to 150. Aye, aye, sir. Reset at 150. 
Reset at 150! Reset to 150! Repeat! Reset to 150! Secure it. Fire one. Fire one! Sonar, Tappy. He's using some kind of a decoy. Can you pick him out of it? He's coming out of it now, sir. Heading about 080 zero zero degrees. Left 10 degrees, rudder. Left 10 degrees, rudder. Reset depth charge pattern to 150. Reset depth charge pattern to 150. Increase rudder to 30 degrees left. Steady up on 080. Zero zero. Increase rudder to 30 degrees left. Steady up on 080. Zero zero. Reverse course and take it up to 50. Reverse course up to 50. 50! Course reversed. I've lost contact. Lewis can't find him, sir. Secure underwater search. Reduce speed to two-thirds. Secure underwater search. Reduce speed to two-thirds. Mr. Mackerson, we're going to give you a hypothetical problem. All right, Captain. Take our last contact with the target as a starting point. Our course was 164, sir. Give the target a course of 260. Keep him on it for 30 minutes at a speed of four knots. Two, six, zero, 30 minutes, four knots. And bring him back on course one, four, zero for 30 minutes at a speed of eight knots. One, four, zero, 30 minutes, eight knots. We'll hold our present course and speed for half an hour. 30 at 18. Now, from wherever we are at the end of that time, give me a course and speed to intercept the target. Aren't we going to make a lost contact search, Captain? We won't catch this bird in a search pattern. I'm pretty sure he's dusted off our keel and scooted in the opposite direction. 
Our course would be 239 degrees, speed 19 knots. We would intercept in uh, 28 minutes from the beginning of the run, sir. All right, we'll try it. The target might not come back on course 140, sir. No, oh, I think he will. He's got an important mission. Nothing's going to stop him short of being sunk. Pass the word of battle station, stand easy. Aye, sir. He face hack up here, Dane. He goes away. You think he's given up, Herr Kapitän? It's possible. But to be certain, we hold this course for a while before we turn again to 140. Captain, sir? Well? How are we doing? You're doing all right, sailors. That guy Robbins is 180 out. This guy ain't no feather merchant. You said it. I had to amputate his fingers. What was your time on reloading, Mr. Gray? Three minutes three the first time, two minutes 40 the second, sir. Right on. Give your crew a well done for me. Thank you, sir. Well, I still, sailor. You're out of the war now. Is it bad? You've lost your fingers. It's my fault. I shouldn't have tripped those racks so quickly. No, sir. I oughtn't to have had my hand on the rail. I guess I got excited, sir. Well, we'll get you flown stateside as soon as we put back in the Trinidad. You'll be back in your civvy job in no time at all. I was a watchmaker. Operational priority dispatch coming in, sir. Ask the executive officer to join me in the crypto room. Yes, sir. Well, you won't be making any watches again. No, sir. I'll make out all right. I'd bet on that. All right, let's get him to bed. Did we get the sub, sir? No, we missed him. I'd have given my fingers to get that sub. I don't pretend to know anything about sub chasing, Ellis, but I rather think our new captain does. Joe, that U-boat is still in the ocean. I wouldn't give a plugged duck for its chances. Dispatch is just coming through the Dakota, sir. Destroyers Luckman, Wall, Green, detached to aid you. Anticipate U-boat may be attempting to rendezvous with German radar S-U-O-M. Reduce radio traffic to position signal once every hour. End. But it'll take 14 or 15 hours for the destroyers to catch up with us, Captain. Yes, if we're lucky enough to tie onto that U-boat again, he may tow us up against the raider before help comes. That wouldn't be so lucky, would it? Those murdering wolves can outgun and outrun us. How do you feel about it, Mr. Ware? We're closing the triangle in uh, 14 minutes, sir. Well? Let's push our luck. Alert battle stations, Mr. Ware. Aye, aye, sir. Voltage is low on poor generator. I'll call the LE. Hmm? More soup, Herr Kapitän? Huh? More power on the port generator. Does not taste like tennis shoes, Herr Kapitän. It's very good. The man mistreats you, Cookie. They make jokes when they are happy. I don't mind. Are they happy now? They are proud of you, Herr Kapitän. Thank you, Cookie. It's now nearly 50 minutes, Herr Kapitän. Now. Yeah. Kunz! Ja, Herr Kapitän. Bring the ship up to periscope depths. Jawohl, Herr Kapitän. Herr Kapitän. The maneuvers were brilliant, Herr Kapitän. The Führer would be pleased.
Huh? Propellers. 1,200 meters. Which quarter? Port quarter, Huh, Capitaine. 18 meters, Huh, Capitaine. You ready for emergency dive? Stand by emergency dive. Emergency, down to 80. 80, down to 80. The American has read my mind, Heine. Yeah. Down to 150. Port three. 150. 150. 150. Target turning left, sir. Left standard rudder. Set depth charges to 150. Set depth charges to 150. Left standard rudder. Ten meters. Mm. It's not possible, a Capitaine, to go that deep. Pressure would crush the hull. Part right three, release bolt. Part right three, release bolt. Part right three. To bottom. Hey, Capitaine. To bottom. Yavola, Captain. Bottom. Stop engines. He's giving me the slip again. I'm not getting anything but bottom echoes. Sonar's lost him, Captain.
Give me a fathometer reading. 150 fathoms, sir. That's 310 meters. It's over a thousand feet. Can he go that deep? He might like us to think he can't. Slow down turbines easy until stopped. Slow down turbines easy until stopped. I want absolute silence on this ship. Sonar, this is the captain. Secure, but keep a close listening watch on the hydrophone. If he is down there, I don't think he'll have time to linger very long. His engines are fading. He's not cycling? Nine. He's gone, huh, Capitaine? Listen for a while. Uh, Doc, this is really a hot one. At least they're keeping cool down there. You can say that for them. A painted ship on a painted ocean. What's that, Doc? I was reminded of the ancient mariner. You know, it rather fits us right now. Something unreal about this waiting out here on a deserted sea. Well, it'd be real enough if that pig boat puts a fish in us. <laughs> Any luck, Rimfire? No, sir. Them fish are afraid to make some noise if they bite. <laughs> hey, let me try it. Guess you're finding his son kind of hard to take after the North Atlantic. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's always either too cold or too hot, wherever there's a war on. Well, I have a salt pill. Thanks. We've been floating around for quite a while. Don't think there's any chance that you both gotten away from us again, do you? Oh, he's down there, all right. Beats me how they get men to do it. Do what? Go and sit in that coffin down there. Oh, they're not so bad off. 
Actually, they stand a better chance than we do in this case. It's pretty hard for one ship to surprise them. Their commander might be able to knock us off if he's smart enough. You think he is? What, smart enough? We'll know that when it happens. I wonder what sort of man he is. Well, he's got a share of guts, I know that. If he weren't so bullheaded about coming back on course 140, he could have kissed us goodbye a long time ago. That's all I know. I have no idea what he is or what he thinks. I don't want to know the men I'm trying to destroy. Hi, Capitaine. Hmm? Yes, I know. The American must be far away by this time. It's a curious thing. But I know he's there, waiting. All right, we go. Silent routine, one, four, zero. Level. Level. Course will be one, four, zero. One, four, zero. Continue silent routine. Deep and slow. Can he pick up a heading? Can you figure a heading? Lewis thinks he's moving southeast. Coming back on 140 again. Alert battle station. Alert battle station. Commence underwater search. Commence underwater search. Give me minimum RPM on both shafts. Steer 140. Propeller, sir, Captain. Pinpointed, sir. Ready to close in, sir? No, nope. pass the word. I want a conference with all officers and chiefs. Make it in the warden. Close his main. Pass the word. All officers and chiefs in the wardroom on the double. We're at a disadvantage because he can turn sharper than we can. We can shake him up, but a death blow would be pure luck. We've expended a third of our death charges. The U-boat can stay underwater for another 24 hours if he wants to. If we run out of depth charges, the offensive will have changed hands and we'd have to break contact to get away from his torpedoes. On the other hand, we just can't follow him and wait for our ships to join us because we might get pulled into a trap with a German raider before they get here. What we're going to do is to fight sort of a delaying action. Enemy's about a thousand yards ahead. And we'll hold this distance for a little while. And we'll run in, lay one pattern of charges, drop back, wait for one hour, then attack again. We can keep this routine up for seven hours. He can't get anywhere very fast, and our ship should be here by the end of that period. He might even surface. Being inside a submarine under attack is the worst experience you can imagine. After they get on to what we're doing, they might prefer to come up and surrender, or at least shoot it out with us. I want you all to get as much rest as you can. Stand easy at your stations, but be ready every time we lunge. It's going to be a long, dull job, but it's a damn sight worse for the Germans. We'll begin the routine at 1500.
Kapitän! Auf der Torpedo rum! Wir haben Kontrolle hier! Take command. Jawohl. Stay away from me! Stay away! We can do nothing with him, Herr Kapitän. Come here, son. Come here. Give me the wrench. Give it to me. You will come to attention. It's a part of our work to die. But we are not going to die. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? He gets more accurate attack, Captain. He will tear us apart the next time. What do you suggest, Kunz? Surface, Herr Captain. Surrender. Hold him. I'm not concerned, Herr Captain. Schwaffer? I say go on. Ali, what's the condition of the ship? We've not yet been hurt. But we cannot escape. It should be your privilege to die for the new Germany. Put this on the ship's turntable. The sound will carry her, Captain. It will help the American to know our position. Put it on. Her, Captain, you cannot do this. Sing it, Heidi! You, my friend, and you, my sing a tiny. But together, here's a toast to life and to laughter and song. To fear, my friend, to sing it, Kunz. Sing it, all of them. Sing it, everybody. Make the welkin ring as we sing loud and strong. We're up to flowing steins again with foam on every lip. We'll give it a call and shout, Yahoo! It's our sing fellowship. And when we are along the line, the waiting ways, may we drink to love all our live long days. Yo, la ho, la ho, yo, la ho. To you, my friend, and you, my friend, and all of us together, here's a toast to life and to laughter and song. Good cheer, my friend, good cheer, my friend, and every kind of weather, make the welcome ring as we sing loud and strong. Fill up the flooring signs again with foam on every lip. We'll keep the score and shout your elastic fellowship. Rich, sonar. I'm getting screwy noises from the hydrophone. Sonar reports screwy noises from the target, sir. Tell him to cut it in on speaker, Ensign. Put it on the line, Lewis. And when we high and low and die with captivating waves. They're having a ball down there. I don't think our psychology is working, Captain. No, it's working all right. 
I almost wish it wasn't. All ahead for attack, Mr. Ware. Maybe we can rip him open in the middle of a waltz. Sir, he doesn't seem to be a bit dead. He's going away at a good clip to starboard. Right, 10 degree rudder. Right, 10 degree rudder. Stand by the fire, sir. No, we'll ride his tail again. Let him digest that last one for a while. He can't stay down there much longer. Come back on 140. 140. 140. Schwafer. Yeah? Ask Brown which way the American turned after the attack. Come on. Turn to starboard, Herr Kapitän. Uh huh. I will show you something. Each time he has attacked, we have turned off to port or starboard to avoid the attack. He drops his wasser bombs and runs on for three or four hundred meters, and then turns to fall back on our stern. He doesn't always turn the same way, but twice he did to run parallel with our course for a very few minutes. In those minutes, he was vulnerable. If he does it again, we will be ready. There will not be time to come up to periscope depth, but it's possible. If we spread the four bow torpedoes, fired all at once, angled a few degrees apart, one may hit. One will be enough. But uh, if he does not turn parallel to our course, what can we do? We will survive until he does. Weather from fleet weather control, sir. Mr. Ware. Yes, sir. The weather's going to get worse before it's on. There's some wind. It's going to be difficult to keep a fix on the target in the heavy sea. We may as well try to finish him off if we can. Immediately? Immediately. You inform Mr. Crane we'll be throwing everything we have left at the target. You understand? Hey, Captain, the destroyer is closing. Oh, he comes early. We are ready, Herr Captain. You understand there will not be the usual routine? Yeah, Herr Captain. Seal torpedo. Seal. Mr. Ware, set depth charges to 100. Aye, aye, sir. Target turning to port, sir. Stand by to fire. Left 10 degrees, rudder. Left 10 degrees, fire. Fire! Too shallow. Up to 50. 50! 50! Now, American, turn the right way, and I'll give you a pretty present. Claw reports he's off our stern. Course still 140. Give a right 15 degree rudder. We'll make a beam attack. Right 15 degree rudder.
He's turning. Starboard 20 degrees. Starboard 20. Starboard 20. Hold course. Hold course. Torpedoes. Los. Los. Go ahead, sonar. High speed propeller effect all on starboard side. Stop for an engine left full rudder. <laughs> Keep us afloat? Well, if they can, it, it won't be for long. We'll make it as long as you can. After engine, what's your damage? We got a few valves loose. We're taking a little water. But we're still getting steam from number two fire room. How long before you flood out? 30 minutes, maybe a little more. Then stop your engines, but be ready to give me all the power you've got left the instant I ask for. Mr. Ware, get yourself a party and go light several fires on deck. Use mattresses and gasoline. I, I want it to look as if the ship is burning. The pumps have gotten into operation, but damage control says it's hopeless. I'm sure it is. You go along with where and see if you can give him a hand. Radio, this is the captain. Send this emergency dispatch to operation. Hit by torpedo, request immediate assistance. That's all. Engines have stopped. We'll go up to periscope depth. Periscope depth! 80 meters. That's enough! Get out of here! Attention, everyone. This is the captain. I want all of you to listen carefully. Big boat got one in where it would do the most damage, and we're going to lose the ship. But we still have a kick left. We're going to try to use it. I'm hoping that playing dead and the fire will bring the enemy to the surface. Except for securing crew and the gun crew of Mount 31, I want all of you to abandon ship. Repeat, abandon ship. Get as far away as quickly as you can. It's possible the enemy will put another fish into us without warning. Now get going. Good luck. Steady kill. Yavo. We top it on the surface. Take it up. Surface. Submarine blowing tanks off starboard bow. This side. I'm half surprised he took the bait. That's the first foolish thing he's done. Well, that makes us even. Tell him that in five minutes I will finish off his ship. Ready, Hurt 
appertain. He's given us five minutes. Signalman, take this message. Say message understood. And a thank you. Mount 31, this is the captain. That sub will come close to beam. As soon as he's broadside, give him a shell in the stern. If we're lucky, we ought to have a sitting duck. Your second target is his deck gun, but you better be quick, because he'll start shooting when we do. When I give the command to fire, continue at will. Signalman, no point in you and the talker staying aboard any longer. Aye, aye, sir. Good luck, sir. Good luck, sir. Mr. Ware. Your papers say that you were captain of a racing yacht before the war. You ought to have a pretty good eye for speed and distance over the water. I think I have, sir. Would you like to take the helm? My pleasure, Captain. This will not take long. You was only one torpedo, Schwaffer. Look at him. Engine room. This is the captain. Can I still depend on you? Just say the words, Captain. I'll give you all we've got. Engine room. Crack your throttle wide and get the hell out of there. Turn it on full and get out of here. Aye, sir. Get over board. Yes, sir. They're both laying off stern for us. Right behind you. Aye, aye, sir.
Rodent closer, the captain's behind me. The captain's still aboard. There on the deck. We gotta give him some help. Get in there. Those U-boats have detonated. I don't care what they have. Take this boat in. Now. Port side, we go over that way. You understand English? Port side. Not much time. You go. I bring this man. Can't you see this man's dying? He's my friend. Sir, I'm double parked downstairs. Nachdem es Gott dem Allmächtigen nach seinem unerforschlichen Ratschluss gefallen hat, unseren Kameraden Heini Schwaffer zu sein Vaterland sterben zu lassen, ein Leben voll treuer Pflichterfüllung, sein himmlisches Vaterhaus aufzunehmen, ist es unsere traurige Pflicht, den geliebten Kameraden hier auf hoher See Bogen des Meers zu übergeben. Stillgestanden. Leb wohl, Heini. Mannschaft, wegtreten. Remember our talk on the bridge, the weighty one, death and destruction? 
You might be interested to know that I've seen another reason for hope. Found it in a funny place, too. In the middle of an ocean. Right in the middle of a war. You had to come a long way to find it, though, didn't you, Doc? It was worth the trip. Maybe. many times, Captain. But I continue to survive somehow. This time it was your fault. I didn't know. Next time I won't throw you the rope. I think you will. 